Deadly Premonition is considered to be a psychological horror game, but I find it more bizarre and creepy than scary. Uh, the horror doesn't come from pop-out scares, although it, you know, it does sometimes try to do pop-out scares. Uh, most of the horror comes from not wanting to see just the weird and crazy shit the game is going to show you next. Uh, the player takes control of FBI agent Francis York Morgan. No, 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 wait a second, wait a second, that, that's, that's not right. Uh, this game is bizarre, so you don't really play as York. Uh, he is the main character, but you play as his alternate personality, Zack. That's right. You are the voice inside an insane FBI agent's head. York is completely aware of you and talks to you all the time. This leads to just weird conversations between York and himself, or well, York and you. Deadly Premonition takes a lot of inspiration from the television show Twin Peaks. There's a very gruesome murder in a small secluded town in York is called in to investigate. Well, not really called in, there's something that leads him to actually investigate. And a lot of the townspeople just don't really want him there. Some are friendly enough, happy to see a new face, but others just don't want them meddling around in their day-to-day -day lives. They don't like outsiders at all. Um, outside of the combat sections, which we'll get to in a second, York interacts with the very unique and quirky town folk in an attempt to solve this crime. Uh, the combat is just one of the craziest parts of the game. Um, on the outside, it's, it's a basic third-person shooter, uh, but you are fighting demonic undead people that, you know, scream that they want to die. But I guess that's that's not really too crazy as standard for a horror game. Uh, the weird part about this is that these entities are only really visible by York. Uh, and he makes you, his alternate personality, do all the fighting. Somehow the combat uh, of potentially imaginary demons help York solve mysteries uh, by picking up clues and being able to use his FBI profiling skills to put that together into some strange real-world analog. Uh, this game is just weird, and uh, after a while the freakiness just gets to me. It's just, it's just over the top, and it's, just, it's sometimes it's just too much to handle. Um, this game was a steal when it was originally released for $20, but it's, it's now a bit more difficult, thus making it a bit more uh, it's a bit more difficult to obtain, making it a bit more expensive. But uh, if you like completely odd and original games, uh, Demi Premonitions is a really, really good one. Oh yeah, and it does include plenty of scenes in York's head in which he's in some strange red forest with twin cherubs. Uh, don't ask me. Bizarre. Over the top. Good game, though.